it's springtime now, so you might be starting to see lots of blossoms on the trees around where you live or work or go to school. And you might be wondering, what kinds of trees are these? So a lot of the trees that you see are actually ornamental versions of fruit trees. So things like plums and apples and pears and cherries. Uh, so we're going to go around and look at some of these different types of trees and look at their blossoms and leaves and help you figure out how to identify them. This is a plum tree and plum trees flower really early in the season. This is still just the first week of April and there's already flowers on this tree. Plum flowers are fragrant and the buds of plum flowers are round as you can see on that bud at the bottom of this branch. Uh, to understand a little bit more, more about blossoms we're gonna have to learn a little bit of flower anatomy. So here we go. Um, perfect flowers are flowers like these plum blossoms that have male and female parts on one flower. The male part is called the stamen and on these plum blossoms there's lots of stamens. They're all the little stalks that have yellow pollen at the top of them. And then in plum blossoms there's just um, one style which is a part of the pistil which is the female part of the flower. And the bottom part of the pistil has an ovary which has ovules which will become seeds. In this blossom right here, the style is the reddish looking stalk amongst the other ones that have yellow on the top of them. I don't know if you can see that, but there's one stalk that is the style. It's right in the middle. It's reddish. Also, the petals of plum blossoms do not have a um, kind of notch in them the way cherry blossoms do. Since both plums and cherries are in the genus Prunus, uh, that means that they have some pretty similar characteristics. The leaves are very similar. It's hard to tell the difference between a plum and a cherry just by looking at the leaves. However, if you see a, le a tree with purple leaves like this one, it's probably a plum tree. You can see the bark on a plum tree is not peeling the way the bark on a crab apple tree does. This is an ornamental pear tree, which are all in the genus Pyrus. Um, by far the most common pear tree that you'll see is uh, the calorie pear or sometimes called the Bradford pear. It's sometimes considered an invasive species. It's not very well loved, but it is commonly used in landscaping. Pear trees also bloom pretty early. Still, this is the first week of April and we're seeing blossoms on this pear tree. Pear blossoms actually smell really awful. They have kind of a rotten scent. Uh, as far as their anatomy, um, you can see there's several stamens and this time there are actually several styles. So the female part of the flower is split into several different stalks. They're the ones that have kind of the reddish top. Uh, unlike the plum that just has one style. In the pair we have multiple styles. So this tree right behind me is a crab apple. Crab apples do produce fruit but it's usually really sour so you wouldn't eat it at least raw. Some people do make preserves out of it um, but it is in the same genus as the domestic apple tree and that genus is Malus. So the bark of a crab apple tree is usually peeling like this and sometimes we also say it's plated meaning it's divided into kind of rectangular or square sections or pieces that are peeling off. Crabapple flowers have five petals and they have four to five styles. Um, so in the middle of the flower there's these long stringy things sticking up um, some of those are stamens, which are the pollen part of the flower, but the ones that do not have pollen are part of the pistil, which uh, includes the ovary part of the flower. And crab apples have more than one style. They usually have four or five. These flowers are a little bit past their prime, um, but you can still see part of the, the anatomy of the flower. 
this is a Japanese cherry tree and these are beautiful I love these trees they're not cultivated for their fruit they're cultivated for these blossoms that you can see the bark of cherry trees is very distinctive because it has these horizontal lines running along it these are called lenticels and you won't see that on plums and apples and pears so that will help you identify cherry trees also the bark is usually gray and then underneath it can be kind of mahogany as you can see right here cherry blossoms are very beautiful very fancy um, they don't always have as many petals as these do and they can be different colors they can be pink or white they usually will be coming out in clusters out of one stem so if you can see these flowers are all one cluster of flowers coming out of this one stem and that's different from plum flowers all right thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed learning about ornamental fruit tree blossoms and i hope you can go out and find some